Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Okay, beautiful weather out there late on this Friday afternoon. Live look from the tower cam right here on Melwood Avenue back towards Spaghetti Junction. You can see the Yum Center there in the background, the various bridges, the Kennedy, the Lincoln. Boy, it's been a wonderful autumn afternoon. Cool but seasonable, 64 degrees at last check, the humidity nice and low, a north northeasterly breeze, seven miles an hour. I'll take you around the viewing area, some of the traffic cams showing lots of sunshine, lots of dry pavement, and yes, some pretty cool conditions. The range right now, 58 up the road there on I-65 in Seymour to 64 in Bardstown and all across the viewing area, it's a mix of upper 50s and low 60s by and large. These numbers, when the sun goes down, they're gonna cool off quickly. So keep that in mind for your Friday evening plans. We're gonna go from 61 at seven, quickly through the 50s, even the low 50s by late this evening. Now this is the city, outline regions, I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see it in the 40s already by 10 and 11 o'clock tonight. The weather pattern though has really quieted down. We had that nice rain yesterday afternoon on into your Halloween, uh, the evening hours, but we cleared out behind that system. High pressure up in portions of the Great Lakes is building in. It's gonna dominate pretty much all weekend long. So uh, tonight, it's gonna get chilly. When you wake up in the morning, 30s, and low 40s expected. In the city, around 43, but suburbs, outlying areas will likely see the mid and upper 30s, and there could be some patchy frost as well. But tomorrow afternoon looks absolutely phenomenal. The clock is going right there, just expecting mostly sunny skies and a beautiful Saturday afternoon after that chilly start. Those numbers will climb back into the middle and upper 60s area-wide, looking at 68 here in town. And to wrap up the weekend, this first weekend of November, how about Sunday? Now the average high, low and mid 60s, look at this. A few clouds around, but we're expecting dry skies and late afternoon high temperatures around 77 degrees. And that warmth will last into early next week, but it'll also bring a wave of impact weather Tuesday night, okay, here's election day. We wake up in the morning to some sunshine, dry skies. I think much of the day will be rain free ahead of this system. So heading to the polls, morning, midday, into the late afternoon should be basically dry. And then that rain will move in as we head on through Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. All right, so here's the forecast in detail for your weekend, mainly clear and Cooling quickly once that sun goes down, 50s into the 40s. Tomorrow's forecast looks wonderful. After that chilly start, low 40s in town, 30s outlying regions. Whoop, there it goes, mostly sunny skies. We're 68 in the late afternoon. We'll add about 10 to that number on Sunday, 77. We're gonna hold on to those upper 70s to near 80 degrees Monday, election day. Then cool it off, a little bit anyway. I mean, that's not cool. For November? Mm, no. Mm -mm. Wow, low 70s, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. Well, month. I remember Halloween last year. Mm -hmm. We were layered. Yeah, it was chilly. Up. Right. Vests, coats, gloves.